talking about to my Christian brother friend was somehow picking this verse, this sorry, not this verse, this word immortal, and saying, aha, immortal is someone who lives forever, right? Yeah. Therefore, because right. Jesus yeah. died, your friend right? disagrees with you. Okay, He's on camera. Who, who doesn't die? Sorry, is that right? Someone who doesn't die. Yeah, someone who doesn't okay, die. Therefore, better, better therefore, explanation. therefore, Jesus cannot be God. Yes. Okay. This verse is talking about Jesus. Yes. yes. Now, I'd rather talk to Lizzie than have to. Okay. So let's. Okay. So let's this talk about. So first of all, so first of all, okay. We have to ask ourselves the question, right? Who is writing one Timothy? Paul. Paul. Thank you. What was Paul's opinion of Jesus Christ? Who did Paul think Jesus Christ was? Uh, to me, not Almighty God. No, no, okay, you think Paul didn't think Jesus was Almighty God? No. How can you prove that from the scripture? 1 Corinthians 8 6. Okay. 1 Corinthians 8 6. And then I'll give you some scriptures. No problem. You're already given one? Give another one. Okay. 1 Corinthians 8 6. Okay. For yet there is but one God, the Father, from whom all things come and for whom we live, and there is but one Lord, Jesus Christ. Christ, so the one through God? whom we all think all things come and through whom we live. Okay. Who is the one God? So wait a minute. Even this verse here is not a denial God? of Jesus. No, no. Who is the one true no, God? Let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Sure. Okay. Okay. Because Lord, also according to New, uh, okay, because when it calls Jesus Lord in the New Testament, that's also a divine title. But anyway, let's carry on. Let's no, read no, some not more. carry on. Can we no, discuss no, that? Let's let's read Why do you want? Paul. Why do you want to fast forward? He puts God and Lord. Hold on, hold on. Who is the one true God according to Paul? He puts God and the Lord Jesus. Who is the one true God according? Him. Let me finish. Go Let on. me finish. Okay. No, you're going to another word. In case word. we're in any doubt, oh, in case we're in any come on. doubt. Now she's going to another word. In case we're in any doubt, let's Lizzie, go to Lizzie, if you're not going to be sincere, no, no, I'm then there's no point sincere. having this discussion. Oh my goodness, Hashim, I'm being very sincere. I'm going to my scripture. I'm showing you. Can you can we finish with one at a time? Okay. So I'm we discussed first Timothy 6 16. Okay. Am I right? And we discussed first Timothy 16. Then we moved on to First Corinthians 8 6. In the in First Corinthians 8 6. Paul is clearly saying there is but one true God, the Father. And Paul is one Lord. Lord. Exactly. Jesus so Jesus Christ. is okay. Jesus. He did one not call God. God. The Father. He called him in that verse. He calls him and do you know Lord. Do you know what? That's and by the way. The devil is called the Lord as well. Doesn't mean he's a, he's a God. No. Okay. In the Bible, hey, the devil is the God hey, of the world. The Satan is the God of the earth. Machine. The Lord of the earth. Machine. Does that mean he's God? No. Sure. If we're still not sure, let's go to some other verses that make it really clear what Paul thought of Jesus. Okay. Let's go to Philippians 2, for example. I'll give you a okay. One. Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus. I'll give you a couple. Okay. Two, two or three. Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, and being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. What's okay? Can okay. you point? discuss that? Wait. Uh, she just reads it. She doesn't want to no, discuss it. No, I'm just going to make it very, very clear. Because okay, you're not clear. Actually, you need to make it. If you want to make it clear, why don't you discuss it worse? The reason you want to fast forward is because you know, by really being. Colossians ambiguous here, you, know, you want to wish an you, argument. You, you to make he was no, very clear. No, First Corinthians 8 says clearly the only true God, the Father. You can't have it more clear than that. Okay. <laughs> For in Christ all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form. All the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form in Christ. What does that sound like? Does that sound like Jesus is just a human creature? No. Are you, are you like, talking to Hatun or something? It sounds like blood. That Jesus was in his very nature God. He writes that to the Philippians. Jesus uh, was the fullness of the deity. He lives in, Jesus, in, in, in bodily form. That's Paul again. And let's see what Can we discuss says. any of this? Let's see what or is it just hit and run here? Let's see what he says to Titus. Okay, let's see what he calls. Yes. You know what she's doing? She's trying to read verse after verse after verse. Yes. Because this is the only no, way they can minute. preach. No, no, wait without, a without, without looking at explicit and verses, always she they counter. will go to the implicit ones. Hashim, this is to counter your argument, Hashim, which is to say, to take one single word, immortal, and thereby somehow infer that Paul means that Jesus isn't divine. Was he immortal? Wrong. Was Here Jesus immortal? Here we go. Wait, let's go on this Titus. Okay. <laughs> right. The glorious appearing okay, of our great God and Saviour, Jesus Christ. And even in Timothy, what does that verse, but where immortal comes, it says here, to keep this command without spot or blame until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, which is the same phraseology. Paul makes it very clear in his letter to Titus that the glorious appearing of our great God and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Okay, so there are two. You have talked for quite a while. You gave me, you gave me words after words after words. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. 
given all that I've given you, yeah. verse after verse after verse, yes. where Paul is affirming, okay, that Jesus is God in the flesh, how can you then make this silly argument based on this one cherry pick, this one word, immortal, as if to infer that somehow Jesus is not God? Okay, first, before we, I respond to that, do you believe Jesus is immortal? I believe Jesus is God. That wasn't Jesus my question. Jesus is reigning eternally That wasn't my heaven. question. Is Jesus immortal? Yes or no? By the definition of the word immortal, in the context of 1 Timothy 6.16, is Jesus okay. immortal? Jesus, Im okay, Im immortality means living forever? No, not dying. Jesus is living forever? No, not dying. Jesus you said it yourself on camera. Uh, according uh, to who? Should I tell you according to? Okay, let's say not According to the Oxford okay. Dictionary, okay. according to the Strong's Concordance, both of them, in fact your friend even saw the definition I gave in the Strong's Concordance. The Greek word is anesthesia, mm -hmm. and this word actually means not dying. Okay, so let's, let's wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He hasn't finished, he hasn't finished. Actually, hold on, hold on. Scripture with scripture. Do you know what the strong concordance is? We're not sure about what the scripture is saying. We go to another part of scripture to clarify. We don't go to the dictionary, we go to another part of scripture. Do you know what the strong concordance is? Lizzie, do you know what the strong concordance is? Some kind of dictionary? It's not some kind of dictionary. It's a religious dictionary. Right. It's a re gives you definition of each word in the Bible. What is it? Again? It is what it's is called it? the Strong's Concordance. Okay. This Bible was actually, sorry, this dictionary which you call is actually compiled by the Christians. Not some atheists, agnostic, Muslims, Hindus, or, or some, some other religion. What they do is because we do not have definitions of words in the Bible, they give definitions by the context. So when oh, you look at. That's exactly what I've done. No, you that's haven't. Exactly you haven't given a definition. Yeah, what is the definition of immortal again? What, I've done. But I'm what is the definition of immortal? What what's does, an it's not my definition. You know what? No, you I mean? said you have done it. So sir, tell me what's sir, the definition. Sir, chill. Okay, relax. I'm oh, relaxed. Don't worry. I'm done. Okay. okay. The point is, it's not Strong's definition of immortal. It's not my definition of immortal. Then it's who's? not your definition of immortal definition? That's, in, that's important. It's what does Paul mean? What is Paul talking about? Have you got Paul here to verify this? No, but we have his writings. Has Paul. So we go to the writers of Paul. Paul defined. So that, please let me finish, Hashim, let me finish, okay? And then we go to the other letters of Paul, if we're thinking, oh, maybe I'm confused, maybe immortal means somebody who never can possibly die, can he possibly mean that about Jesus? And no, because when we go to the other verses of Paul that say that Jesus was in very nature God, only true God is the Father. That in Jesus all the fullness of First the Corinthians in God's bodily form, okay, if we talk to Titus about the appearing of our great God and Saviour, Jesus Christ, okay, that that must mean that Jesus is God and that yes, Jesus can die and rise that? again, and in Paul's view, that you know, still I asked makes you for him, the definition of immortal. Still makes you still immortal. haven't given me after all that, that still bracket. makes him immortal. Paul's definition of immortal yes. must mean, according to the according to Where is the definition? Show me the definition. Well, no, we can wait, because I'm just No, saying. no, don't tell me what he implied. Show me no, the no, definition. I, because listen, she I'm, said, I'm gonna, we go by Paul's definition. Yes. Now you show me the definition I'll by Paul. Is it there? Okay, here's the thing. Lizzie, you talk a lot. Is the definition there in the Bible or not? No, I let you talk a lot already. It's on camera. So any anything you accuse me of can be verified by the people who okay. are watching this. Okay. So if you're telling me I did not let you talk, that is an ultimate lie. I'm not true. Okay? okay. Now? So now once can again, you made now? a claim. You now? made a claim that we go by definition of Paul. Yes. Can you show me where Paul defined the yeah. word immortal? Yes, if you answer talk? this question. Okay. We Paul doesn't per se, like, like, a, like a dictionary, like you want him to, because you want him everything in your particular worldview, he doesn't say, oh by the way, my definition of immortal is this, but he de facto, indirectly defines immortal by, if you look at the context, if you look at the rest she of Paul's She uses the word writings, de facto and then indirectly. Okay, yeah, okay, if you look at the rest of what Paul says about who Christ is, okay, that he is God and Saviour, that he is in very nature question. God. Okay, my that question, he, is he though, immortal, yes or no? Is Jesus immortal? Yes or no? Jesus is immortal. So nobody died. So he didn't die on the cross. Then. No, no, no. Because now you're imposing Hashim's definition. No, I'm using the strong concordance. Not, no, no. And, which is a oh, Christian sorry, definition. Sorry, sorry. Now you're imposing the strong concordance when I've just told you very clearly that it's not about your definition. It's not about the. Is it an English word? Is, is immortal an English word? It's not about the strong concordance. Is it an English word? The word immortal. You interpret scripture with scripture. Okay. Is, right? is the scripture? And according to the scripture, according to the scripture, okay, Paul considers Jesus God, okay, and therefore, when he says immortal, in his definition, God must mean something whom death cannot crush. And did death crush Jesus? No, it didn't. Actually, because, because she doesn't want to. She doesn't, she doesn't want to actually. Well, the question, she doesn't want to admit else. that the word immortal means someone who doesn't. And die okay am i right i don't want to miss i don't want to misrepresent you because lizzie here no, does not really me does not imply 
It's According to her, the word immortal doesn't mean someone who dies. It's not about definition, it's about how Paul means it to be understood. That's fine. And it's very clear from the rest of scripture that Paul's meaning of immortal means somebody for whom death okay. cannot crush, but who is conquered death and no who can problem. rise no again problem. from death. Let's play your That's game, Lizzie. Let's play your game. Valid definition. Let's play, your, let's play your game now. Yeah. Let me ask you this question. Do you now, now. take back the No, 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 I'm not. I'm going to ask you this and then you can ask me if I can take back. that from what I've read from scripture that Paul definitely, because this is something you're unsure about before you. You're trying to make out that actually Paul didn't teach the divinity of Christ. Will you now accept that Paul definitely thought, definitely believed that Jesus was God in the okay. flesh? You know, I let you talk a lot. I think it is only for you, fair enough for you, that if you allow me to talk without you interrupting. Okay, I will okay. ask you a question. Okay. Look, I will ask you a question and expect a specific answer to that question. I, yeah, and I expect no, you have been beating it on the bush all this time. No, you know? no, no, okay, let me ask you this one. I'd like you to answer that. Okay, let me ask. Do you believe Paul taught that Jesus was God? No, I will, I will answer the way I want. Let me ask you that before that. Does God die? You're not answering my question. I will, I after you answer mine. Remember, this was my question from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. This You haven't answered yet. Does God die? Jesus, the second person of the Trinity, in his flesh dies and he rises again I mean? because is I mean? he is God in the flesh. I've answered the I mean? question. No, no, I've answered the it's, question. It's like when I ask Lizzie, when I ask Lizzie, are you a woman? She, she says, no, I live in this part of London. I go by bus over there. I take the tube sometimes. Lizzie, very simple she, question. Does God die? I just answered your question. Now answer mine. Okay. Are you, are you a Christian, sir? I didn't avoid Are you a Christian? I didn't avoid Do you speak? Are you allowed to speak by Lizzie? No, you're not. He's sitting there. Lizzie, you can do your mouth like that. Okay, did I answer the question? Did I answer the question? I answered the question. No, you now didn't. I'd like you to even saying yes? Okay. Are you allowed to say yes for sir? her at least? No, Ashim, now I'd like you to answer. No, you didn't answer my question. I, I asked you did I asked God you I asked you did God die? You said about Jesus. I asked you yeah. did, did God die? Yeah, I said Jesus, the second person of the Trinity, who's God in the flesh, he died and then he rose again. Thank you very much. Okay. Who's now? Who's now? No, you haven't answered the question. question. Answer because the second person of the Trinity is not only what defines God. Do you know that? The second person of the Trinity is not what defines God. Why are you scared of answering my question? I'm not scared. Okay, then answer it. My question is, does Paul teach that Jesus is God in the Flesh. Lizzie, I don't get controlled by the men like your Christian friends. No, no, you're just avoiding. I'm, I'm, I'm independent of you. Hashim is avoiding okay? this question. No, I'm not. Does Paul teach My question that God still remains. God did God die? You told me about the I've second person. That. Unless, according I've to Lizzie, that. God is only the second person of the Trinity, then yes, she has answered the well, question. I didn't say that God was the answer, that Jesus was only So answer God the question. Did, does does God die? No, no, I've answered that question. No, you now haven't. I have, you just don't like my okay, answer. Okay, guys. Did Lizzie answer my question? Oh, did? No. Everyone here is saying no. Did? Well, and that, of course they would say that, wouldn't they? Okay, but these guys are not Muslims. Here's yeah? the thing. You guys are not Muslims, right? Okay, when I asked this lady the question, did God die? Do you okay. want to hear answer? Do you want to hear her answer? And you tell me if she answered my question. What was the question? Uh, the question was, did God, does God die? Sorry. Does God Almighty die? Okay, and this is my answer. Jesus, who is God in the flesh, died when he died on the cross, and then, but death couldn't control, didn't have a mastery over him because he rose again. Did she okay. answer my question? So Jesus, who is the second of the, of the second person of the Trinity, fully God, fully man, yes, he did die on the cross. Thank you. Now, do you think she answered my, my question? My question was very simple. Does God Almighty die? She mentioned about one of the persons in the Trinity. According to her, if only one person in the Trinity is God, then yes. She would, Jesus, if the second person in the Trinity is the only one who can be defined as God, then yes, she answered. My question wasn't about which person in the Trinity died. My question is, does God Almighty die? A very simple question. Okay, let me ask you guys this question. Do you believe in God? You guys believe in God? Everybody, do you believe in God, everybody, why is Hashim not answering my question, so, so. which is, you know, did Jesus, okay. sorry, way, did do you Paul God can teach die? that God, Jesus was God in the flesh? The is, is not the same. As it's, it, it's not a real thing. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's right. Why are you avoiding it? So, so somewhere, I, I just get one lady said. Thank you. Okay, she, okay, Hashim, she doesn't believe God is only an energy. Why are you avoiding my you. question? Why are you avoiding okay. my so question? So basically my question was very simple. Did God die? I did not ask did the I second person of Trinity. No, you answered, did the second person of the Trinity die? Hashim, Is that right, Lizzie? answer me. Now answer my question. Okay, do I will you answer believe question that Paul mine. teaches that Jesus is God in the flesh? Not Almighty God. Not Almighty God. Shall I read those scriptures again? No, okay, no, no, maybe no, you're, no, 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 no. Why maybe we, why don't we look at each one of them? Maybe you've been asleep while we've been trying to read your Can Bible. Can we look at okay, each one of them maybe, without you just reading them? Okay, okay. Well, let's, let's, because she had had a lot of time, it's only fair 
that I read, I read the scripture. Let's look at Philippians 2. Let's look at Philippians, okay, let's look at Philippians yeah, 2. Let's look at Philippians 2. Go on. And we'll, this, this time we'll discuss the uh, verses. Shall okay. we do that? Let's look at Philippians 2. Shall we discuss them afterwards? Okay. Yeah, sure. Good, go on. Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, who, being in very nature God, this is Paul writing to the Philippians, okay? And Hashim has just told carry me on, that on, he on, doesn't finish, believe yes. that Paul thinks that Jesus is God in the flesh. Carry on. All right? did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but Why? made himself nothing, taking Why? the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Why? Therefore, now let me finish because it's so beautiful. Therefore God exalted him, Jesus, to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. It's above the name of Muhammad, guys. It's above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Muslims, we don't you need bow to bow the knee to Jesus. No. Because he is in very nature God, we bow to the, one day to the he God will come and judge you. of Jesus, Muhammad to whom Jesus bowed. Yes, okay. because he's so in the name God. of Jesus, every nation should You see, this is the insincerity of the man. I thought she said she was going to discuss it. Okay, and Why every do you lie, time Why do you lie? confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to yeah, the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Are you going to bow the knee ah, to Jesus? No. Shall we discuss it now, Lizzie? You promised that we are going to discuss it. Let's discuss it. Based on that word, wait, wait. Based yeah, on that verse, I never get enough. Wait, wait, Jesus. I never get enough to talk about Jesus. Abdullah, wait, thank you. Sir. Based on that verse, it says God exalted him. Which God exalted him? Um, oh. Wait a minute. Why are you avoiding the part where it says Jesus, who being in very nature God? No, I'm coming to that. But before you go there, uh, and my explain question, that wait, to me. Who? Which God exalted Hashim, him? Relax. Okay. I'm relaxed. Don't okay. worry. My question was: My question was: Does Paul teach that Jesus is God in the flesh? And here I'm ready After to you again. answer my I'm question. Ready to again, maybe, it, maybe you're asleep. Maybe you're asleep. Question will remain the same. This passage, okay? Which God exalted okay. him? That of Jesus, of Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God. Are you telling me seriously, with a straight face, that Paul does not teach that Jesus is God in the flesh? Not Almighty God. Shall okay. I tell you why? Yeah, tell you why? Good. Explain. Good. Even though so you've read these clear yes. verses, and there are okay. others, we have two Colossians, we have Titus, we have loads of places where yeah. Jesus, where Paul writes that Jesus. Okay. First is and foremost, you said we should let the Scripture define things. Absolutely. Okay. How does the Scripture define God? Well, let's see how it defines Jesus. Yes. Okay. No, no, God. Is, you see, every time I say God, she wants to define Jesus. Jesus. Because, this is a Christian. because she does not I, consider sorry, the, sorry, the Father sorry. as God. Why is, that, why is that a surprise? Why is that a surprise? Because as a Christian, of course I think Jesus is God. I don't know why it's so surprising. How about the Father? Is he God? My question to you, He's the Father Hashim, 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 God. Hashim, Hashim, remember the question. Remember the question, okay? The question is, do you honestly think... I answered three times all, already. Okay. But, I answered three okay, times. So I think maybe... If you're hard of hearing or understanding, and that's the issue. Difficult to understand. You need to visit a doctor sir, if you've got sir, those issues. I think you're finding it very difficult to understand very simple texts. What is, which the, is this? Which what is, is this? How okay. do you understand God from the scripture? Let's try again. Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God. Your attitude is the okay. same as your now, God? Are you telling me? Are you telling me? <laughs> is your attitude the same as your God? Are you telling me? Not all, sir. Not all. But Thank God. Hashim, Hashim, please be honest now. I am honest. Are you honestly telling me what? that you're saying when we're reading this clear scripture to you that Paul, you're of the opinion that Paul didn't think that Jesus was God in the flesh? I asked you what is the meaning of God. No, no, no. You see, God. You see earlier, uh, earlier when I asked you to answer my question, you went to the second person of Trinity when my question was, did God die? You only consider the second person of the Trinity as God? Is it? No, I think that... Is the Father God? Wait, you're still... Is the Father God? I'm not debating. You did not answer my question when I asked this question. And you expect me to answer this question? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. That says that Paul says that he considers Jesus, okay, who being in very nature God. And you're saying, no, 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 no. I know, Paul so did not teach no, no, no. that Jesus I asked was God you, what is when the we meaning read of God? clearly from the scripture that like you wanted Jesus to define was God immortal in the flesh. And now from you the are scripture, trying, define God from now the you're trying to move away from this very simple question, which has a very simple answer. Oh, no, you mean like, who died on the cross? Simple God. question. Did what God die? Simple question. She made it that. Lizzie, how do you like the taste of your own medicine? You see, when I asked you a simple question, did God die on the cross? I answered that. What did you say? The second person of Trinity, am I right? You answered in relation to the second person only. That's right. Okay, let me ask you this. Is God only the second person? No, of course he's not, but why is still avoiding this? Why is still avoiding <laughs> See what I mean about simple Hashim, question? Now she knows what simple question means. Hashim, okay, so now when I ask try, Lizzie, it, explain to me the God. meaning you're of the term God, God from the Bible. She doesn't want to do that. She's avoiding that question. No, Tell me what is the meaning of God based on the Bible. I'm 
sorry, machine. 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 Let's do this again, okay? Yeah, let's because do it again. It's a very, very simple question that I yes. asked you. What and is the meaning of God? Very simple question, you're right. Really failing very simple this. question. What is the meaning of God, Lizzie? Can you tell me from okay, the Bible? So, right. God is, okay, what the revelation tells me God is. Which is? Okay, and the revelation here tells me that God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Where does it and say it that? tells me Where that does it say Jesus that God is, Father, is God Son, in the flesh. Okay, so now you're telling, claim, me, you're telling me, God is Father, Son, Holy Spirit in the scripture. Can you show me that? You're telling me, no, 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 because we're going to go back to this This question. is called no, no, a deliberate lie in order to win an argument. No, no, sorry. You're being disingenuous there. I'm not the one who's lying. I'm not the one who's lying. You said God means the Father, Son, and Holy God. Sorry, Holy Spirit. Show me that from the scripture. Okay. You said, let the scripture define the scripture. Okay. So show me where in the scripture fine. God says fine. that he is the oh, Father, okay. Son, and Holy Ghost. Fine, fine, fine. Or Holy Spirit. Fine, fine, fine. We'll find out who's fine, telling fine, the lie fine. now. But also, Hashim, I'm sorry. Don't you, change the topic. Yeah. Just oh, no, answer no, the question. I wasn't the one to Are you waiting the, the question? She made, my topic, she made a mistake. Topic no, my topic she was about immortality. She didn't even accept that. The meaning of immortal means not dying. In order to win an argument, you won't even answer that. Go. You're going against a strong concordance, you're going against the Oxford Dictionary, you're going against all the dictionaries which actually have defined so the word sorry, important. I'm so sorry, Hashim, I'm so sorry that you have to go to the dictionaries and you will not let interpret scripture with scripture. That's it's really sad. that sad. you don't use the dictionaries. That's really sad, okay? Okay, and anyone who uses English here words here and not understanding the meaning of the English okay. words, immortal, then you really have to go to the dictionary. Is your Bible in English? Sir? Is it in English? Uh, sir? We're not yeah, it is in English. Okay, there you go. Okay. So you must. I asked Hashim, we're going to wrap this up because I can see that Hashim. <laughs> I can see. I can see wrap that Hashim is very uncomfortable. Oh, oh, wrap up. I've wrapped. Yeah. I've wrapped. Yeah. She made it a claim that me. God means the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Is she okay. going to show us that yeah, evidence? Here we go. Matthew 28. This is just to keep you quiet. Yes. Yeah. Matthew show me 28. That that quiet. Jesus says, "Okay, therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing in the name, one name, of the Father and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit." Where does it say God? And teaching them to obey everything I have said. She doesn't say that. What? She just says three persons. Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, and, and baptize them in the name. Does it say they are one? No. Does it say they are God? Has, no. You, you lost this argument. Goodbye, Lizzie. No so, wonder you no, want to no, run no. away. Uh, you want to run away because I asked you. You said to wrap it up. Very, no, no. Yeah, do you know why? Because why? Because you, you can't answer my question. question. The question I asked Hashim is Does Paul teach that Jesus is God in the flesh? He went, No, no, no. And then I read him very clearly. I read him Philippians 2, where it says Jesus being in very nature God. I read him Colossians 2, talking about. Um, and you first Jesus is the fullness in Jesus. Which says the, the deity, only true God, the Father. In bodily form. What more you Titus, want? You know? the appearing yeah. of our glorious God That's and the Savior, with Christians. Jesus Christ. Look at and he says, verses. no, 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 no. The when there are clear, clear verses, verses. Look at ambiguous Actually, verses. he won't even when answer. When there are clear, so, ambiguous, sorry. unambiguous verses, right? like 1 Corinthians 8, 6, the only true God, according to Paul, is the Father. The Father. Yeah. Thank you very much. With that, we rest. I think we should conclude with that. Because at the end of the day, she doesn't want to understand what the meaning of God is. When I asked her, what is the meaning of God? I thought you wanted to wrap up. <laughs> so when I when I asked her what is the meaning of God, she said and she claimed that it means the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's how Jesus then she read then us Jesus to then she read to us the Great Commission, yes, That's Matthew 19. Jesus and she read to us, baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Does it say this? Says, according to them, it's cursed. What kind of a book is this? A religious book? Is this inspired by the Holy Ghost or the unholy Ghost? You tell me. In the Quran, Allah says the Satan is cursed. And Jesus rubbish, is the one who's honored. And Jesus and his mother are honored in the in the in the Quran. Quran. Now you tell me when Jesus reads the words in, in, in this gospel. <laughs> sorry, yeah, in the, in the, in this in, in Galatians, in Galatians, she will That's realize. Really sorry, Jesus will realize that this book is calling me a cursed one. What kind of people are these? You know what they're called? They're called Christians. These Christians are are cursing Jesus, whom I love and who is my Messiah and who is a prophet and one of the mightiest messengers of God. These people are calling him cursed. In the Quran, it is a Satan. Allah says, in the Quran, we read when he says, Audhu Billahi Mera Shaitan Ya Rajim. The cursed one. And in the Quran, Allah is the one who is the God and the Lord of the world. It is not, it is Lord of the world. Who is the Lord of the world in the Quran? Rabbu Salawati Wal Ard. Lord of the world and the heavens. And he says in the Quran that he is the Lord. In the Bible, the Satan is the Lord of the world. Now you tell me whether the Bible has been inspired by the Holy Ghost or the unholy ghost. I think anyone who calls Jesus cursed and calls the Satan Lord is being inspired by the devil himself. And Jazakallah Khairan, I think we I think we should wrap up here because she is very disingenuous. She doesn't ask her simple questions like when I asked her 
Did God die? She said the second person of Trinity died in his flesh. That is not the answer to what one the question trick pony, I asked you. One trick pony, unless she, unless she, yeah. one trick pony? Always. Oh, is that Bob the Builder, the hat trick pony? Don't worry about it. Now, wait a minute. You can bring, look, you, you can bring your hat trick ponies. Okay? You I give you your ponies. Been You've been here 30 seconds. But I give you your ponies. What, what kind of, you by the way, where's your, where's your, where's your, where is your phony Arabic teacher? Your Arabic expert. Remember Daniel? Where do you got bulldozed? By your Arabic expert. Where's your other expert called Godwin? The guy who doesn't even know David is a prophet. Okay, second block. It's an old trick. It doesn't work. Goodbye. No, why? You got sex, didn't it? Okay, guys, this is it. Because at the end of the day, we have already summarized the point. Now, if Lizzie wants to go, Lizzie, I've got every SD card today. If you want to talk about that topic, every SD card I left out. I'm so gutted, that's what I'm using the phone. Are you here for fun? Because I'm not. You're wrapping up? If you want fun, if you want go, if you want fun, if you want fun, if you want fun, go look entertainment elsewhere. Because I'm not here. Are you done? Are you done? One trick phone, are you done? Hey, let's talk about the Ah, Daniel, the phone. Who's the Arabic expert? Hey, why don't you want to talk about Takiya? Hashim? Lizzie, why Lizzie, you Lizzie, Lizzie right. he's gonna ride away anyway all the time. Wrap up, wrap up. Let's wrap up. Wrap up. Let's wrap up. Well, a shame. That's a real shame. Um, I had a great discussion with Hashim there. Um, I repeatedly asked him, "Does Paul teach the deity of Christ?" Uh, and I read him from Philippians, and I read from him from Colossians, and I read from him from Titus, all of which says things like Jesus being a very nature God, that in Jesus the fullness of the, uh, of the God uh, dwells in bodily form. Talks about Titus saying the appearing of God, our God and Savior Jesus Christ. Anyway, Paul uh, Hashim didn't want to wanted to run away from that, um, and instead he kind of cherry picks verses about immortal and how immortal must mean something who never dies. All of this is complete a straw man argument because obviously if you read the New Testament it's very clear from Paul that he believed that Jesus was God in the flesh. Anyway, after that I suggested to Hashim, hey let's talk about Takiya and I've never seen anybody run so fast. Run away, yeah. uh, because Takiya really is very, very disturbing. Um, it's uh, an Islamic do doctrine that allows Muslims to lie um, and we see it and it goes all the way through Islam because Allah lies, Allah is the best of deceivers, Muhammad is a lie, allowed to lie, he, when his, he's offended by people he sends his uh, companions to go and assassinate them and the, the companions say oh uh, maybe I've got to lie to do that and Muhammad says yes go ahead uh, and not only that but Muslims are permitted to lie when uh, you know they want to bring peace to people and things like that so it's very very difficult um, to, to know really uh, especially with the speaker's corner I'm not saying every Muslim is lying all the time I'm not saying that at all uh, but I'm just saying to, to really trust what um, particularly the Islamic Dawah team is saying because they know that in order to further Islam they can basically say what it's like whether or not it's true or not um, but anyway, we're so glad that we don't follow a God who is a God of lies. Uh, we follow a God who is the truth, who loved us so much that he would die on a cross to save us. Uh, even when we've all done bad things in the past, we've all been liars in the past, but God loves us so much that he that he, he will not sweep our, our wickedness under the carpet. He wants us to confront it, he wants us to repent of it, and then he wants us uh, to come to him for forgiveness and cleansing, which is possible through Jesus only because he never sinned in any way, and he chose to take all of that on himself. To Jesus, to the Father, to the Holy Spirit, so God Almighty be forever praised. Amen. Amen.